hi virgo welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well today this is going to be for virgo sun moon rising venus and north node please remember to flip and switch the roles it could be talking about someone else in your energy also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your situation okay so happy birthday again virgo i hope you guys are enjoying your birthday season so far okay so let's see what's coming in for you guys what is going on for my lovely virgos what could they be expecting what's going on with them Let's pull three of these. So bottom of the deck, we have spiritual growth. So beautiful. Learning and expanding the soul here. So I'm definitely getting, uh, I just heard something about dark night of the soul. So some of you guys could be going through a lot of shit right now, okay? But it's for your best interest. It's for your spiritual growth, okay? Some of you guys are going through DNA upgrades, okay? Clearing out past life karma. Um, but you're, you're learning here. You're growing. You're expanding here. Um, some of you guys are definitely gaining more intuitive insights here. Like your intuition is, uh, what am I trying to say, Spirit? Your intuition is um, heightened at this time, especially because of this Pisces full moon that we just had. Okay. But um, you're awakening, period. So let's see. Let's pull. Okay, gifts. Wanted to come out. Surprises, presents, and openings. So some of you guys could be dealing with a uh, Libra that just came out for Libra. Libra's reading was beautiful too. You could have Libra in your chart. Let's see, what else for Virgo? So there's a, I feel like there's a surprise coming in from the universe here. Okay, friendship. Friendship, friends, acquaintances, and networking. Okay. So this could be an increase in your finances is what I'm getting to, Libra. Um, you could be meeting people that are a part of your soul tribe at this time, making new friends. Okay, or somebody could be, uh, or sp your spirit guides, your angels are sending you a new friend here. Um, people that are on your spiritual level, people that you can resonate with, people that understand you on a soul level. Okay. Um, all right. You, got, you guys could be networking with other people at this time. Um, I don't know what kind of networking though, but let's see. Somebody could be coming in that you are already friends with that has spiritually grown, okay, for some people. But let's see. I feel like you're going to be meeting new people pretty soon or something like that. What is going on for Virgo? Excuse me. Okay, so we have Queen of Swords. Wow, then we have King of Swords. <laughs> nostalgia okay somebody here could either be going through a divorce or this is you and your counterpart here so let's see queen of swords with the king what else okay all right so we have clairvoyance mm -hmm. yeah definitely an increase in your psychic abilities here definitely that confusion then we have oh shoot love offering i wanted to come out in reverse so bad so let's see, bottom of the deck is King of Water. So King of Cups. So I'm gonna read these as I clarify them with the Tarot. So let's see what this is. 313 on the timer, you guys can see seeing those numbers. Okay. Make sure when you see angel numbers, um, angel numbers guys, you go look them up. Okay, when you um see them and make sure you're remembering what you think about in that moment or what you were thinking about so that way you guys can kind of like piece together what spirit is trying to tell you through your, your angel numbers okay so let's see um so we have queen of air this represents a feminine energy who could be an astrological air sign or have dominant air signs in their natal chart a queen of air displays traits of intellect deep thinking leadership innovative ideas analysts and communication writing speaking and problem solving are important she is an achiever and pioneer so for some of you, I'm getting, um, you could be a public speaker with Queen of Swords and the Clairvoyance. You guys could be psychic, like very, very intuitive, very intelligent, very smart. Some of you guys could definitely be writers or you're into public speaking, okay? And you're being gifted more spiritual gifts, like you're getting an increase in something, okay? Something about your clairvoyance here is heightened. All right, let's see. And for some of you, this Queen of Swords could be somebody else in your energy that could be going through a breakup or something like that but let's see some of you guys could be tarot readers or you are mediums like you do that for a living all right you could be making new friends with other like psychics and things like that but let's see what's this queen of air representing who is this queen of air okay yeah seven of swords somebody that's on bullshit <laughs> like somebody that's sneaky or that, that was cheating on you could be a man or woman just because it says queen of air doesn't mean anything um 
But let's see. What's what's the queen of air for Virgo? Okay, five of cups in reverse. So so I'm getting, okay, so for some of you, this is you, okay, or this is this other person. Flip it, switch it. But this is you or this other person here. I feel like you guys are setting boundaries. You're standing up for yourself or you're speaking up for yourself. Yourself, you're very blunt, okay? I feel like you're releasing regret and anything that was that you were grieving over that maybe took a while for you to grieve over is over. I feel like this shit is like done with. You're not in regret anymore or, you know, you don't feel ashamed about something anymore or you don't feel sad anymore. I feel like you've gotten over it. I feel like you completely healed from something. Okay. Yeah. You can have your boundaries up with somebody right now. What's this Queen of Swords? I mean, Queen of Air with the Five of Cups in reverse. <clears throat> okay, Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. So definitely, this could be somebody here coming in towards you. This person could be younger than you. They could be quite adventurous, quite spontaneous. Okay, maybe they. this is somebody that was in and out of your life. Okay, this person is like still holding on to you. They have not let you go. <laughs> okay, at all. They ain't going to let you go. They haven't let you go. Okay, I feel like they're trying to take control over the situation now. There could be some travel here involved. You could live at a distance from this person, but this person, like they want success with you. They're coming in very confident, okay? And I, because I feel like they're, they're holding on to you. This person could be having money issues. They could be having financial issues, but there is somebody that wants something. They want to say something to you here. Okay. Like, I don't, I don't know. We're going to clarify. Okay, they could have, this could be them and it's five of cups in reverse. They could have had to get over something. Yeah, walk away from something from their past or this is you. That they were grieving over for a while or whatever. This could be somebody that's fairly cold towards you too with the queen of swords. But what's the five of cups in reverse? Okay, yeah, eight of swords in reverse. So this is good. This is overcoming whatever the fuck happened here. This is overcoming an issue. And I feel like it's going to be overcome with communication. Like you're going to be able to communicate with this person or this person is going to be able to, yeah, communicate with you. Some of you guys are definitely leaders in your community or just all over the world. The Hierophant, Six of Wands, and the Four of Wands. Some of you guys could definitely be spiritual gurus. You're, you're leaders here. I feel like, you know... You're gaining a lot of success and rewards and recognition for whatever it is that you do. You help a lot of people out, okay? You could be a therapist. You could be a relationship therapist for some of you as what I just heard, okay? Or some type of matchmaker. <laughs> um, but uh, definitely success is coming in. For some of you, this is success with the Twin Flame Union, okay? Or this is just success around something that you do in the public eye. Like you're very smart, and you're very intuitive and you're a great leader. You're meant for this. This is something that you're meant to do. You could be dealing with the Taurus. Okay, but you, you're you um, a great person to get advice from or something like that. But the Eight of Swords in Reverse is overcoming a difficulty. Overcoming, for some of you, it could be overcoming abusive situations. It could be definitely moving away from any type of anxiety, depression, fear, uh, self-sabotaging ways. Like I feel like that shit is over with. Feeling restricted or tied down or bound to your own thoughts or to a situation. I feel like that's over. Somebody has healed from that shit and they're moving on. <laughs> like somebody's un like being released. Somebody could be getting released out of jail. But yeah, because the Knight of Wands does talk about freedom. But let's see. What's this Four of Pentacles? What's Four of Pentacles? Okay, the devil. Yeah, somebody, okay, so so there's like somebody here that's very possessive or controlling around you, um, Virgo, I feel like you detach yourself from this person, like they don't have no more control over you, just period. It could be this Queen of Swords or it could be somebody else, because I feel like you could be the Queen of Swords, you set boundaries, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, you could have been dealing with somebody that's very money hungry or they just have different views on finances, like they don't, I don't know, but they could could have been very selfish or greedy, Okay, and they still could be because I feel like you removed yourself from this energy. Like, I just feel like you don't give a fuck about somebody no more. It's like you just don't care because they're not going to change. So I feel like this is you removing yourself from somebody that's like this. Somebody here could have stole money from you and some more shit. They try to keep you bound to them for finances maybe. Okay. Hmm. What's this Knight of Wands? So, okay. Okay, Six of Swords. 
So for some of you, this is somebody here trying to come back towards you that's trying to keep holding on to you for finances. Because I feel like this person is very greedy. They're selfish. They're very possessive and controlling. And they just want to keep you around just for financial reasons because they're penny pinching. They're complacent in their life. And I feel like this is you breaking free. You're moving on. You're finding peace in your life. Six of swords. Some of you guys could even be relocating. But you're definitely being guided. Yeah, eight of wands that I just saw. I don't know where it went that quick. But I just saw, yeah, you, you could just be like moving on here. Some of you guys are just moving forward, finding a peaceful res resolution to all your problems. And I feel like the only peace that you're going to get is if you move on from whoever the fuck this is. Okay. Because I feel like somebody's trying to come back and you have to set boundaries with somebody. Because they just, they're going to keep doing the same shit. <clears throat> you guys could be saying two, two, two. Okay, with the six of swords and the knight of wands, yeah. This could be somebody traveling towards you too that wants to uh, move things to calmer waters with you. And they've broken free from some type of toxic person that was holding on to them. Okay, so flip it, switch it. But let's see, what's clairvoyance? So it says clairvoyance. It's time to pay attention to your visions and psychic insights. Your receptivity is becoming stronger. Write down what you are sensing. Invest more time into meditation and lucid dreaming. Your visions are real. You are seeing and sensing things beyond the five physical senses. Senses interpretation is key but some of you guys could be having dreams i know yesterday i had a crazy ass dream yeah last night i had a crazy ass dream man that shit was cray cray but it was a sign there so let's see what is clairvoyance somebody here okay the empress the judgment what else for clairvoyance And the Seven of Swords. Yeah, so. Okay. <clears throat> you can be dealing with the Taurus, Libra, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. So there could be somebody trying to strategize how to come back into your life here is what I'm getting, uh, Virgo. You could be this Empress. There's like a, you're under judgment under like i feel like it's a karmic lesson that's coming around or it is here already you've made a judgment call because you felt something sneaky going on here and you're you're right about it because somebody is doing something sneaky i feel like you made a decision you've been very decisive in your decision making okay some of you guys could be trying to like run from the decision that you made because you don't know if it's right i feel like you have yeah your hard work is going to pay off knight of pentacles with the two of wands okay uh but um there is something, there is something sneaky going on or somebody's trying to strategize how to come back and ask you for your forgiveness. Okay, with the judgment, because I feel like you're going through an awakening, you're seeing something. There's something that you're seeing about something or someone around you, they are sneaky. Somebody's just very possessive or obsessive over you, they're obsessed with you or something. Or this is somebody else. But what's, let's see. Some of you guys, I'm definitely getting you're very fertile, you're manifesting. So I feel like, yeah, like the cards say, you're very sensitive to whatever is going on. So you could be feeling all type of energies here. You're going through a spiritual awakening too. But what's the seven of swords? Okay, yeah, eight of cups in reverse. So the eight of cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody, you know, I do get somebody returning. They're coming back, okay. <clears throat> They're coming back. It's like somebody's trying to strategize. Yeah, page of swords. Somebody could be trying to sneak around and come back. Okay, you can feel it. <laughs> okay, it could be an air sign or it could be any damn sign. <laughs> Excuse me. But the Eight of Cups in Reverse talks about... Excuse me, guys. Let's see something. This could be this could be somebody that's emotionally immature, somebody that's scared of commitment, somebody that has low self-esteem, low self-worth, somebody that's very clingy. It could mean a lot of shit. So I'm gonna clarify. This could talk about fear moving on from something or like faking happiness in something, but let's see what this is. Or somebody staying in some type of bad situation. What's seven? What's this eight of cups in reverse? What's eight of cups in reverse? Yeah, your intuition is telling you something about something in particular. I don't know what the fuck it is. You could feel like something is coming. A tower. Or you could know that somebody stayed in some type of bad situation. Like you already know this already or something like that. Uh, Virgo. But there's something that your intuition is telling you about somebody being sneaky or 
I don't know. The high priestess, yeah, there's like a secret or something like that. That somebody has. But I feel like this is more so your intuition telling you something. What's this Eight of Cups in reverse with this high priestess? This is something that maybe you already prophesied. You already said that somebody was stuck in something. Okay, Two of Pentacles. Ten of Cups, Page of Swords. Yeah, so it could be somebody here juggling you or somebody that was juggling you. They stayed in a, a situation that wasn't even making them happy. Okay, this could be talking about, it could be anything. I don't know. Something that maybe you've been going back and forth with for a while that your intuition has been telling you to do, but you maybe have been scared to do it. Okay, like you've been trying to weigh your options and figure out if, this, if that's the best decision. It could have something to do with your family. Okay, putting an end to something in regards to a family situation. But I feel like your, your intuition is telling you that something is going to come back into balance with the Two of Pentacles. It's like you've been weighing your options about it for a long time, planning and strategizing. And I feel like now it's maybe time to make a decision with the judgment. Or you have made a decision. But I feel like, I don't know, your intuition could be like going off about some shit. I don't know. It could have something to do with your family. Okay. Um, but let's see. What's this judgment right here? What's the judgment? Okay, the strength card. Yeah, Leo energy. You could have Leo in your chart. So yeah, something that you're going to be able to overcome. Because you made your decision. I feel like you had to have like be brave and have confidence to do this here. Okay, it could be a little bit of ego too is what I'm getting. Because I feel like you're second guessing yourself about something. Or this person is or whatever. But there's a need to shift your perspective with the um, hangman Pisces energy. I feel like something you're worried about is going to turn out in your favor. I just feel like it's, it could be a bit like fear or mm -hmm. it's something here that you're trying to run away from, but it's no more running from it. So you have to listen to your intuition and keep moving with whatever this is. What's the Empress? Okay, King of Pentacles in reverse. For some of you, this is your like baby daddy or your baby mama. They've like been trying to take from you in a sense. Somebody here is unstable, unsec like insecure maybe when it comes down to their finances. Okay, um, the Empress with the King of Pentacles in reverse. For some of you, there's like been a loss of finances or money. Or for some of you, this is you breaking up with somebody or you stop giving to somebody's ass. This could just be coming towards you intuitively uh virgo you could be getting these intuitive hits because i feel like this is somebody else's situation i don't know it just doesn't feel like it's you but it could be king of pentacles in reverse i mean you could be dealing with another virgo or something like that or somebody else that has virgo in their chart but um i don't know somebody's like a thief king of pentacles in reverse is a thief or they're like a very unkind towards you this person is not very kind okay i feel like they broke anyway they ain't got shit going on in their life you know like, I don't know, somebody's like very mean or very, very conniving. Um, this could be even a bad business partner or somebody you went into business with. But this is somebody that's ungrounded, unsuccessful. I feel like uh, they're very judgmental. Okay, they could, like, I don't know, it's poor judgment about this person. Or you made a poor judgment call about somebody in the past. This is somebody that was unfaithful to you, very disloyal, unsupportive. Okay, who's this King of Pentacles in reverse? Because I don't, I, don't, I don't get that that's you. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Okay, so you could have to make a decision about this person here, uh, Virgo. Whoever this is, or this is you. This could be another Virgo, I don't know. But there's a decision that you possibly have to make. And I feel like now that you know your worth, you could have a child with this person or something like that. I feel like you're going to get a victory in something. Okay, whatever this shit is, you're going to get a victory in it. There's some like good news coming out. Somebody's going to try to offer you something. And I feel like they really, I don't know. It's, it's like they're not grounded. Something about them is not grounded. I feel like you're going to see something. There's something that you're going to see. I don't know what the fuck this is right now. This person, somebody could be going through bankruptcy or like a bad divorce where they lost everything. This is like a crash of an empire or a business. Or this could be somebody that's like corrupt, somebody around you that has a corrupt organization that you invested in. Okay, or you you just know something because it say clairvoyance. So it's something your intuition is going off about something that I feel like you're awakening to anyways. 
Okay, so. And I feel like you're right about it. Somebody made a hasty ass decision. They did something too quickly. You're going to be able to overcome it though. What's the judgment with the strength card? What's judgment with the strength card? Okay, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, your hard work is going to pay off. Thank you, Spirit, for the confirmations. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be fine, but there is something that I don't know if you rush to do it or this person is rushing to do it. But this is like slow energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So it could be you. That there's something here that you are maybe unsure about, but I feel like you're going to gain the clarity and you're going to be fine. You know, you're going to be fine. I feel like you're worried about something because it's keeping you stuck or there's something that you feel about somebody else because the devil is here. Like, I don't know. For some of you, you're getting a business offer from someone. And I feel like you're going to have to like have the confidence to move forward because maybe you guys need help with your finances. But it's an offer coming in that I feel like is coming from somebody that's unstable. Like they can't really do anything for you. So you're probably going to have to like stay strong and move forward. But I guess you'll see when it happens. For some of you, it already happened. So definitely leave me some comments. And it could be something around your finances. It's, it's slow, but it's coming in. This could be an offer that's trying to come towards you. Okay. Yeah, this could be an offer coming in. Um, so, but let's see. Yeah, confusion. Shit, I'm over here confused too. Shit, I don't know what the fuck this is. Your intuition is telling you something. You're trying to weigh your options. It could be about money. It could be this person though. So it says, confusion comes when someone or something is inauthentic. Follow only the path you know is right for you. Confusion comes when the heart is in conflict with the head. Pause if you can't decide. Ask for clarity. Take time to make the right decision. Go within. Remove low vibe influences around you. Don't listen to fear or pessimism. So let's see. What is confusion right here? Because I feel like somebody's confused about your ass. They don't know what to do. But I know that they... Okay. Yeah, somebody's like giving bad advice. Queen of Swords in reverse. So now we have her ass in reverse. So Queen of Swords in reverse... King of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. So what I'm getting here, so there's confusion, right? Because somebody here, so this could be somebody in your energy that is talking shit about you. Like, I'm just getting, you could sense that somebody is like trying to get out of something. So this could be somebody in your energy, right? So flip it, switch it. If it's somebody else, then you know who I'm talking about. This, this, this could be somebody else in your energy that's trying to get away from something. They, so the King of Wands could be somebody that wants to come in. Yeah, because we do have the Knight of Wands. So the King of Wands, so somebody is growing up. I feel like when I see those two like that, they're growing up, they're maturing. Just like if I see the page to the King of Swords, I feel like somebody's getting better with their communication or getting better with whatever. But um, This is somebody here that is trying to get this person. They're giving somebody bad advice. Whoever this Queen of Swords is in reverse, this is a liar. This is somebody that go that gossips a lot. This is malicious gossip. It's um, this is somebody that's very bossy, demanding. They will over critique you, overly critique you for not doing something their way. Somebody's very manipulative, very harsh, bitter. This is somebody that's very bitter. Okay. And I feel like somebody wants to take action and go the opposite way. But there's somebody else <clears throat> here that's like trying to get in the way and give this person bad advice. Like if you do this, so it could be blackmail. Okay, it could be blackmail. But it's like if you do this, then I'm going to like this is I don't think this is a good idea because that or something like that. I don't know. But somebody's a liar because we have Queen of Swords upright. Then we have them right here. So this is why there's confusion because this person is a goddamn liar. They're this devil energy. This Queen of Swords, that could be you as the Queen of Swords. You're telling the truth and they're a false person. Whoever this Queen of Swords is in reverse. Okay, like... Somebody is, is trying to like scare you away from something or steer you away from something that your intuition is telling you that is the right choice to make. What's Who's this King of Wands right here? Could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, yeah, this is somebody from your past. Yeah, now we have the Queen of Pentacles. So, I, you know, I'm getting with the uh, King of Pentacles in reverse right here, right? This could be your counterpart for some of you. This person is trying to come forward to you and talk to you and invest in you. But I feel like somebody is telling this person, like, you're broke or you don't have enough money because they did lose a lot of money probably fucking with this hoe. 
this stupid asshole right here this is the issue okay so i feel like uh there's somebody like from this person's past that could be giving them bad advice about you or there's like gossip about the situation or whatever the fuck is going on but i, I don't know but I feel like this whoever this King of Wands is is thinking about you. You're you're somebody from this person's past. So that's what it's about. This person just doesn't want this King of Wands to come towards you. So they're really trying to fuck with this person's head. Yeah, the Emperor, Page of Cups. I mean, Page of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. That's how this person sees you. What's this King of Wands with the Six of Cups? Yeah, the Hermit. Yeah, so this is somebody that could have ghosted you in the past or not spoken to you in a while. This is somebody that's wisening up. They're maturing, whoever this is. Okay, I feel like somebody just needs to follow their common sense. That's it. Because you can clearly see that this person is a goddamn loser. Stop listening to this hoe, whoever the fuck this is. <laughs> okay, it could definitely be another Virgo. You could have children with this person. There's like somebody around this person that's just false. Their ass is false and they're a liar. They're a bad liar. They're very bitter. Yeah, the moon, the 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 seven of cups. You know, a lot of fucking confusion and illusions here. They're definitely trying to cause illusions and trying to cause somebody to be in two minds about something. They don't, they're a loser, whoever the fuck this is. But I feel like somebody's wisening up or maturing or they're noticing something. They're shining a light on something and they've done some soul searching. So I feel like they want to take action. King of Wands is somebody that's going to take action. They're not going to sit here and let nobody tell them what the fuck to do and what not to do. King of Wands is a leader. They're not going to sit here and like be told a bunch of bullshit. Somebody needs to listen to their intuition. What's this Queen of Swords in reverse? 11.33 on the clock. Okay. The Ace of Wands and the Justice. Yeah, so there's a new beginning. There's something balancing out and I feel like somebody's life. Okay. For some of you, this person is confused because they feel like you're going to critique them or be like um, overly judgmental towards them about what, something that they did in the past. So they're really trying to figure out they should come towards you or not. But I feel like this person wants to balance something out and have a new beginning with you. Okay, but then it, I, I just feel like somebody else is here trying to confuse this person. It could be their own confusion too, though, because they think that you've turned bitter or you're bitter towards them or you don't fuck with them. And I feel like that's not the case. I feel like they're lying to themselves about whatever. <laughs> like, um, some of you guys could be trying to relocate. You're trying to move here, but I'm definitely saying travel with the Ace of Wands. Okay, there's something, there's a passion new beginning here. And this Queen of Swords is, I don't know if this is a person giving bad advice or what about you or about this new beginning. Some of you guys can have a court situation going on here. Where I feel like something is going to turn out in your favor. You could be being pessimistic about it. So watch how you think, okay? I feel like something's going to turn out in your favor, but you you just not are not sure if it is or not. You could be stepping into a new experience. This could be a new experience. This court shit or whatever the fuck this is. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. You could be dealing with a Libra. But I'm definitely getting karma is here. So whatever somebody's doing, they're going to get it. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. What's this Three of Pentacles? Three of Pentacles. Um, okay, yeah, Ace of Cups. So about a partnership that somebody genuinely wants to be in. So Ace of Wands, Ace of, Ace of uh, Cups. <clears throat> yeah somebody is like trying to confuse the fuck out of someone they're trying to really confuse somebody about something it could could be involving children like there's a partnership coming in with you and someone they don't want you to get this partnership or they don't want you to do what the fuck you have planned on doing when it comes down to which how you gonna take care of their ass and get them out of your life they don't, they don't want you to do this, but it's going to happen anyways. So I, I don't know. You know, it's because with the three of pentacles, it's like somebody wants to come in and put that work in. For some of you, you're getting new love. Okay. Uh, for some of you, you're already in a partnership maybe, but I'm definitely getting a, a partnership, a teamwork, make the dream work type thing. This could be a business partnership, but it's, it's a love partnership as well. Or, or you're doing something that you love, or there's something here that you want to do that somebody doesn't want you to have, or they don't want you to do it because they're bitter. Queen of Swords in reverse is like bitter. With the devil over here under the Queen of Swords. 
They're just trying to hold on to you for whatever the fucking reason is. They're obsessed. Yeah, King of Swords. <laughs> somebody could be going through a divorce, a breakup, where two people don't fuck with each other and somebody's like trying to be all nice and shit. Like, bitch, fuck you. <laughs> I don't need you to be nice to me. Just get on out of my way. You know, like somebody's just a loser. They do all this shit just to kind of like um make you feel a certain type of way. Hmm. <clears throat> what's this uh but there's a there's new love there's a partnership coming in that somebody has been confused about for a minute okay they could have kids okay you could have kids with this person this could be somebody from your past you guys could share past lives with this person even but i feel like somebody wants reconciliation they're very nostalgic they're thinking about you but this other person is like bitter as fuck so they're, they're like confused if they should come towards you or not with this bitter ass person right here <laughs> like so what is love offering somebody what's love offering yeah look at that ass in reverse queen of pentacles in reverse three of cups and the magician yeah somebody's doing some fucking spell work bro that's what this is <laughs> oh, somebody's doing some spell work on you <laughs> or this person we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Pentacles in reverse. Both you and your person could feel very ungrounded right now. Like, both you and your person could be feeling, like, anxious or overwhelmed or... But I'm definitely getting... There could be multiple people. Okay, so let me read Love Offering. You are receiving a love offering from someone that has their eye on you. You have an admirer. Someone wants to take the connection with you to the next level. Someone has romantic interest. An opportunity for new love has come. Be discerning. Divine love is worth earning. Divine love is patient, honest, and loyal. So, <clears throat> we're going to clarify this shit. Because <laughs> Virgo, Gemini energy. Could be another fucking Virgo here. Strong Virgo. Or Taurus. Or any damn body. But let's see. What is this Queen of Pentacles in Rebirth doing? I feel like... Two people have broken up, has gotten a divorce. They're both, like, they both don't have any goddamn money, okay? But there's somebody that wants to come towards you that this other person doesn't want this person to come towards you. Like, they really don't, they don't like you. And I feel like you don't like them either. Fuck them. <laughs> like, okay, who cares? Who likes, like, I feel like you don't even carry yourself like that. Like, you don't walk around not liking people. That shit is stupid. What's this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Queen of Pentacles, yeah, the moon. They guys doing spell work, I'm telling you. And they're very deceptive. They're they're doing this shit. So if you feel it, you're correct. Okay, because I know for, for me, I'm a Virgo rising. I have been feeling a lot of fucking spell work. I have. Like, so. Okay, cool. Shit, that just gave me confirmation about some shit. Bitch. <laughs> okay. What's, uh, so the moon, Cancer Pisces energy. What's this Queen of Pentacles with the moon in reverse? What's this Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the moon? This bitch is definitely doing like, okay, queen of cups. It could be multiple people. It could be multiple people. This person is doing like, um, they could be doing spell work on your emotions. It's like, it's like you, your, your emotions are up and down. They could be trying to cause anxiety or fear. So you could be feeling very anxious or like somebody's trying to really like fuck with you. you you're aware of this though, so they can't do it. Yeah, you're well balanced. You're good. You're protected. So you could probably feel the spell work, but it's not affecting you any dumb hoe. You stupid. You stupid. <laughs> like you're dumb. Who is this Queen of Cups? This person is coming off as very loving or caring. For some of you, this person is in your face too. They're, they're a friend of yours or something like that. Oh, wow. Yeah. King of Cups. Yeah, they're trying to come in between two people that want to be together. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to make you and this person nervous. They're doing it on both of y'all. They're doing it on both of you guys. You can feel it too. You know what the fuck you're talking about. Just period. You know what you feel. So don't doubt it. Don't doubt your intuition. You know that somebody's like fucking with your energy. That's not your energy. That's somebody else's. So nice try, bitch. Because you got left. <laughs> Grow up. Grow up and go get a fucking job. Somebody's like lazy. They're greedy. So this is who this is that's doing this to this masculine. Your person, they're trying to offer you something. They feel so ungrounded and unstable. Like they don't so this could be your masculine's energy if this bitch ain't doing it to you they're doing it to your masculine and if you're you and your masculine are connected like that if y'all are twins queens of the king of cups 
then you could feel their energy. This person is like mad as fuck. They're mad because now they're broke and they're trying to get their, they're trying to recruit other people to like get you two to like fall apart, bitch. It's not going to fucking happen. Let it go. They're trying to block a love offer to a swords or trying to make it difficult, more difficult, or trying to just delay it. Bitch, the only thing that it could happen is a delay. It's like every time this per, I feel like this person does this shit a lot. They're trying to like really get into your person's head about something. They're a loser. They're just a loser. And they know that your person is coming for you. They on the fucking way. Yeah, they're a loser. So what's this three of cups? There's like reconciliation coming. What's the three of cups, man? Yeah, Will of Fortune is a destined goddamn reconciliation. It's a destined partnership, bitch. You can't do something that to somebody that's destined. Like, stop being a stop being a goddamn bum. Because this is what bum bitches do. They sit back and do spell work all fucking day. Like, I, I don't, you know, this shit is dumb. There's a love offering coming in that somebody doesn't want you to get here, Virgo. Clearly. <laughs> Okay, but it's destined to happen. It's, things are changing and shifting. There's karma here twice. The justice and the will of fortune is karma. So whatever the fuck these people are trying to do or send you is going to backfire and it's going to keep backfiring. Somebody's like miserable. They're miserable as fuck. They're mean-spirited. Somebody's like a nasty-ass energy. Okay, like it could be two damn people. It could be two, two people that they're in a couple or something like that that's doing it. For some of you, you have somebody from your end doing it here. And then there's somebody from this person's end doing it to them. They This this person, whoever's doing the spell work on your masculine, they want your person to, to come towards you ungrounded, unstable. They want your... um. They want you to look at your person as... They, they want you to like make a decision to turn them down. That's what they want you to do. They want you to turn this person down. Okay, when they come towards you. For some of you, just be mindful. Your person, they could have spill work attached to them, but I feel like they're awakening to it. <clears throat> like somebody knows that someone is fucking lying. Okay, but there could be somebody from your end too that's doing this. So just be mindful. It could be multiple people, man. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, another Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. What's the magician? What's the magician? Okay, Ten of Cups. Yeah, whatever you manifested is coming in. <laughs> Just period. The magician with the Ten of Cups, you manifested this, is definitely coming, bitch. It's coming. So just let it go. Drop the spell work. Drop the talking. Okay, that could be a form of spell work. Just drop it. Like, just like get a job. What's the magician with the Ten of Cups? I swear, people wake up every day to do this lame shit. Yeah, the chariot is, bitch, it's coming. Somebody is on the way. <laughs> you could be dealing with a cancer yeah your emperor is on the fucking way like yeah they're they're, they're they know what somebody's doing this person ain't slow so okay this reading just was like all this just to get to the end just to see that somebody's like trying to do like they have an obsession with dark magic or they're trying to like do something to cause instability between you two bitch you will forever be unstable because look at what you're doing Worry about why you're always going to be like that. And don't worry about shit over here. This one, this is lame. So, anywho, what's, let's, find, let's get some angel answers here for you, Virgo. <laughs> like, okay. So, we have yes. The answer is yes. Do you see this, Karmisha? <laughs> Karmic, do you see, the, do you see the, 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 what the angels are saying? The answer is yes. The answer is yes, bitch. Communicate clearly. Communication is happening whether you like it or fucking not. Like, what else? Child, please. Peaceful resolution. Things are going to be worked out how they should. Abundance. Okay. So, like... <laughs> oh, Lord. People are pathetic. They just... Like, bitch, who raised you? For real. That's what I be wanting to know. When people do shit like this, like, where the fuck... Is your goddamn home training? Why do you even have time to sit up and do this shit? Disrespectfully. I don't care if I sound mean or not. I said what I said. So what's uh? Cause I don't like when people do this shit. This shit is lame. I've been getting this shit in y'all reading for a long time. So what's this yes card spirit? What is yes? Yes, somebody doing spell work. If you want to know, you know what it feel like. You know what it feels like at this point. Cause I feel like this is this the same bitch that I've been. It's been months. <laughs> like i've been channeling this energy for months months bottom of the deck we have number 36 
cross, destiny, spirituality, divine guidance, trials, necessity, conviction, sorrow, emotional loss, duty, crisis, and fate. Yeah, I, you know, I feel like somebody's in spiritual jail. Yeah, now we have church. So definitely a difference of religions here. This person that's doing this goddamn spell work, they're dark. This person probably goes to church. They're very righteous, holier than thou. And bitch, they sitting up here doing spell work every day. They're a goddamn loser. <laughs> we have 36, 36. Wow. That could be an omen for somebody's ass. Yeah, definitely 36, 36. Some of you guys could be that age. But there's a reason why 36, 36 is here. You guys could be seeing sixes and threes. Okay, but definitely um, something about a cross and a church. And this person is like, they're going to get karma for whatever the fuck they're doing. If they're trying to, you know, cause some type of spiritual warfare, bitch, this is your last round of this shit. So they need to fucking get it together. But I feel like this was a necessity. This was a, a necessary uh, lesson for somebody to learn about this damn karmic. Maybe you and your person has one. I don't know. But what's uh what's yes with the cross? <clears throat> okay, damn, a lot came out. So let's see. We have fish, resources, finances, number 34. Investments, prosperous, money, income, commerce. Multiply, large quantity, lavish, bodies of water. So I'm definitely getting a yes to your finances. A yes, you're going to be fine. A yes to an increase. A yes to a large quantity of money. A yes to getting being more prosperous a yes to having the resources to keep pushing forward from in this journey okay uh if you wanted to know if you were getting more money or if you're going to be okay financially you are okay so don't worry about the the stupid hoe that's trying to do spell work and ruin your stability because i feel like that's exactly what they're trying to do and they're failing miserably because they ask look dumb as fuck then we have number 23 yarn complicated circumstance string along puzzling all tied up conundrum unraveled tangled hassles and problems yeah somebody's like all tied up because their money is tied into this money hungry bitch queen of pentacles in reverse that's sitting up here doing this spell work <laughs> so like somebody's getting spell work done on their finances this person is like trying to keep this person bound to them to keep them needing them somebody's like very codependent they like when this person needs them or or go to them for shit bitch you know i hope whoever this masculine i hope you're watching please don't go to this bitch for nothing i would rather for you to be homeless than to go to a bitch like this for anything <laughs> don't go back to this hoe for nothing keep moving you know go to a shelter get the help you need like do what you gotta do to become the man that you know you could be like stop with these money hungry loser ass hoes and you need to stop too with them because both of their asses in reverse so materialism materialism could be a problem here this person is still like this and i feel like somebody else wants to change so that's where the problem comes in and this person keeps like what relapsing or going back to the same hoe bitch Lead his mask in the lawn. I'm so sick of seeing this hole in his reading. <laughs> it's pathetic. Like, for real. Then we have number 17. Somebody could be an Aquarius. Raccoon. Problem solver. Curious. Ask questions. Adaptive. Creative. Entrepreneur. Mischievous. Scavenger. Resourceful and clever. Yeah, it's, you know, it's this person. Um, Some of you guys could be seeing raccoons a lot. That could be like your spirit animal or some Like, I don't know. That could be a symbolism or indicator here in the reading. That this reading could be for you but somebody's like a scavenger they just they just trash i don't know they just digging through trash and shit trying to figure out what to do or how to make ends meet bitch get a job get a job like a normal person or go find something that you're passionate about doing like don't nobody want to sit and keep taking care of you then we have number 16 owl sees through the facade yeah good that's all i needed to read sees through the facade observing aware that's all you need to know there is somebody doing this shit here and then we have number nine bouquet happy harmony beauty creativity a gift art reconciliation <laughs> like yes it's going to happen this is all under the yes card so like what is your point like stop sending these negative energies keep that shit to yourself return to sender because i'll be feeling that shit too that shit is annoying as fuck bitch stop trying to cause anxiety like because you fucked up go get your fucked up life together and stay the fuck away from everybody else's with this bullshit for real this is dumb <laughs> okay like what's peaceful resolution child what is this right here needs to grow up 
Yeah, hearts, love, romance, joy, bliss, heart's desire, contentment, affection, fulfillment, kindness, forgiveness, passionate and caring. So there's going to be a heart opening here. Somebody's going to express to you how they feel. You're going to express to them how you feel or whatever the case may be. So um, there's a lot of healing being taking place in a relationship. We have number 22, Crow. Memories, remembering, mystery, magical power. Yeah, both you and your person are very much so strong. You manifest, manifested as ten of cups and bitches coming. Is coming. The problem is going to be solved, and the problem is this bitch, this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, because this bitch keeps trying to do spell work. Like people are aware of it now. You're trying to be so sneaky. People can see what you're doing. Like stop being a goddamn loser. <laughs> like then we have number one, Archer. Careful aim on target. Shoot. Go to guy or ga or gal. Direct, quick, precise, focus. Matchmaker. <laughs> Didn't I say something about a matchmaker in the beginning? implement a strategy i said something about matchmaker in the beginning wow so there could be somebody outside of this person that they go to to get this done you know they could be going to somebody that wants to see them two together like you and your masculine with this damn karmic they want to see them two together bitch it's never happening again so let it go then we have number 13 elephant gentle lucid dreams have your wits about you, powerful, wise, trust, telepathy. Yeah, so you could be getting telepathic communication. Definitely dreams about this person. Obstacles removed at, at the bottom of the card. Number 13, you guys could be seeing that. I said you guys could be seeing 313, I think, in the beginning of your reading. So, yeah, likely. It's developing the element, the elements of air. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. So something is developing, like, to regardless... Okay, yeah, tornado, storm brewing, torn up, a sudden unexpected end, violence, a total wreck, breakdown, liberate, over and done, the end, bitch. <laughs> over and done, over and out, roger that, like, it's done, it's over with, yeah, the element of fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, expect the unexpected, so somebody here is mad, they're trying to, like, cause a tornado, okay, like, what's, uh, what's this tornado, let's see what this is, what's the tornado, <laughs> the moon, yeah, intuition subconscious fantasy romance psyche affection recognition invitation sensuality artistic divine feminine so this is you as a divine feminine you know that some, something is brewing or somebody's trying to cause problems yeah you you know this yeah then we have mortar and pestle spell work potions medicine breaking things down concoction somebody is doing this on your romantic partnership that's what they're doing with tornado with the moon thank you spirit for the confirmations because they coming through then we have number four wine Developing over time, flavor, family legacy, the good stuff, finesse, alchemy. Yeah, alchemy, transformed, ripening age as well. Yeah, somebody could be trying to do beauty spells. They could be trying to do something on your beauty here to get you to look old and dusty like they ass. Like, you look good. You could be 50 and you look like you got damn 30. Like, bitch, get a life. You look, you're worn out. You're raggedy. Take your ass on somewhere and stop with the spell work because it's backfiring on you. And I'm pretty sure y'all y'all probably don't even know this person or know what they look like. I bet they look dusty as fuck. Somebody is dusty and raggedy as hell. Because obviously they are. They ain't got no goddamn job. <laughs> they sitting up here doing the spell work that's backfiring every fucking week. Yeah, look at this damn gnat. You know, gnats could be a, a spiritual, like an omen of somebody like trying to spy on you. Or sending negative energy. Like, I know what the fuck I be feeling, bitch. I know what's going on. So, Okay. Cute. So let's see. What is um, uh, what is um? Let's see what this is real quick. I wanted to. Let's see. What's Archer? Like somebody like really is trying it with you. Very fucking cute, bitch. Then we yeah. Will of Fortune, Fate, Karma, Cycles, Forces of the Universe, Destiny, Synchronicity. Get what you deserve. It's out of your hands. Yeah, it's out of your fucking hands. You can't control nothing no more. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> let it go let it go let it go let it go what's that frozen <laughs> that's frozen the cartoon or whatever the fuck like let it go let it go this person like i don't know yeah matchmaker the universe is your matchmaker <laughs> that's what it, what it is a match made in heaven like you and this person are going to be together so regardless <laughs> you know like, I feel like once you know that, that a person is trying to, like, break your relationship apart and they've been doing this forever and, you know, it's sad to say that your person could have been unawakened. It's like, bitch, I just be feeling like I'm going to have my person side. Like, yeah, you know, 
they might have did some dumb shit, but I'm gonna have my person side because bitch, this some stupid shit. Like if you go and sit up here and pray on somebody that's already unawakened or you feel like they're too weak to do something or naive, you're a goddamn loser. You're a loser and you're pathetic. Like get a grip, get a fucking grip on your life and stop trying to pick on people that you feel like is beneath you or they weak bitch. You're saying real quick that ain't nobody weak but you. You're the weakest link. Ain't nobody else weak but you. Yeah, then we have child. Beginnings, innocent, number 13 again. You guys could definitely be seeing 313 or 1313 could be significant. Ones and threes. But it says brand new, creativity, spontaneous, carefree, and experienced. <laughs> right. Tender, new perspective. Boy, this could be somebody that was with this person for a very long time. They were settled down with this person for a very long time. So this is all they knew. They only know a bitch like this. Or you only knew a nigga like this. King of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody, somebody is new to all of this. They don't know what the fuck is going on. And this is why somebody could prey on this person. Because they, they were young and they were slow at that time. So they got with somebody that was a very nasty person. They preyed on this person since they were a goddamn child. And it's pathetic. This is like some stupid shit. For some of you, this could be your goddamn mother or father. But look, it says, boom, temperance, prince of fire, Sagittarius energy could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Go watch that reading. Or, and then it says, number 10, looms, deeply committed, uncommon bonds, family, manifest deepest desire, all in for what you love, reawaken lost hopes. So whatever this was that was lost, it's coming back because it's meant to come back at this time. Bitch, the spell work probably ain't even really work for real. Okay. But your, per but your person here, Virgo, needed to become aware of that it was spell work going on. So you could be aware just like, so they could be aware just like you. Because I feel like you already know it. You already know that somebody's on spell work. So they just didn't know. That's the issue. <laughs> then we have number 16, stars. Wishes come true. Peace, miracle, dream, falling in love. Yeah, bitch, somebody's in love. And it's not with you. Dusty, musty, crusty, lusty, fussy. <laughs> Y'all know I'm trying to rhyme and shit. But I'm just saying, like, I just don't like people like this. Like, go away. Go away. This shit, like, feels really personal. It does. What's expecting unexpected so I can close out? This shit is, like, lame as fuck. Yeah, grasshopper, leap of faith. Easy going, don't worry, moving on, prosperity. A change in direction, birth of a son, and luck. So something is definitely coming in. And it's going to be a good turnaround. It's turnaround for the better. So, you know, have faith in your union, Virgo. I know a lot of y'all probably say, I don't want this person. But anyways, the people that do want their person, have faith. Stay strong and, you know, rebuke the spell work in the name of Jesus. Send it back. You know, buy you some Polo Santos. Okay, maybe some Sage. For, I don't know. Go talk to somebody to do a return to sender spell to get to go, make it go back. Because it's like, bitch, what? You trying to send all the spiritual warfare over here? Like, go find something else to do. Go find something else to talk about if that's how you're doing the spell work by word of mouth. Like doing rituals and chanting shit over and over again like a goddamn weirdo and a creep. Go find something else to do. So this was your reading, Virgo. I hope you got a message. I hope it resonated. If it did, definitely leave me some comments. Subscribe, turn your notification bell on, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.